A special election in Des Moines could be on the ballot this fall. City leaders are working to replace Ward 1 Representative Indira Shoemaker. She recently resigned after a months long absence this year. People in her ward were upset they weren't being represented at meetings. KCCI's Ophelia Jacobson is live at City Hall. Ophelia, council members first have to vote on a special election. Yeah, Laura, that's right. And tomorrow's city council meeting will be critical. City leaders say a special election in November will save citizens time and money. Mayor Frank County and council member at large Connie Bozen added this agenda item Saturday for Monday's meeting. City council members will vote Monday night to hold a special election the same day as the general election on November 7th. After talking with the legal team, Bozen says this was the best case scenario for voters and city leaders, and it will save the city money too. People want to be able to um, elect somebody that will represent them, and based on what we have heard from the people in her ward, this, is, this was their desire. And I think it, it's a cleaner way to do it. It gives people the opportunity to vote. Bozen says members are pretty much on board with the resolution. A special election would restore representation for people living in Des Moines Ward 1 after months of having an absent city council member. Even after Indira Shoemaker resigned, many questions remain unanswered about what happened and where she is. I really don't know if it gives us answers. The thing is that now we have the opportunity to move forward and get representation not only for her ward but also for the total city because when uh, you're short one member, it is impacts all the city also. Bozen says she knows multiple people who would be interested in running for Shoemaker's position. The person elected would finish out the term of Shoemaker, which ends in January of 2026. The filing date for the November 7th election is September 21st. There's a lot of interest, which is good. Now who ends up running, that's another story, but there has been interest and questions, which I think is healthy. And Bozen tells me Shoemaker's absence is really new territory for the city council. She says there have been discussions about maybe implementing new guidelines for similar situations if they were to happen again. Live in Des Moines, Ophelia Jacobson, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news leader.